Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm Sabrina. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five lip balms. I kind of have a thing for lip balms. I just get really weirdly excited about them, so I always have to hold myself back from buying them, whether it's at Sephora or the drugstore. So I finally narrowed it down to five, and I have a good kind of like roundup of five different type of lip balms, and then they're also in all different type of price ranges. So let's get right into it. So the first one I'm starting off with is more of an affordable one from the drugstore. This is actually like a French Derm brand. I absolutely love this lip balm and swear by it. I pretty much use this every single night without fail. This is ideal for very chapped and cracked lips or have a cut in my lips. I just put this on and literally I feel like the next day it's gone. So it's really awesome. Another bonus way you can use this if um, I have a cold or something like that and my nose is a little bit dry and crusty. Um, I know gross, but I'll put a little bit of this on and it really does the job. I know you can get this for like the face and hands as well, but I'm not just use this little guy. It has a really nice like creamy white texture but it's not sticky at all. It has like a creamy balm feel, I would say. Depending on how much you put on, you might have a little bit of like a white cast on your lips, but I find as it absorbs, you just get a really nice hydrating. Almost feels like you just put like a moisturizer on your lips. It's so good. I guess it'd be more similar to something like Aquaphor. So the next one is still more affordable, very simple product. You can get this one from Sephora, but you can also get them in a lot of local shops, I find. This is the Smith's Rosebud Salve. All this is basically is petroleum jelly, but because of that, it's so moisturizing to the lips. I really love it. It has a really nice like soft rose smell. It's not like that really like old smelling rose though. It's just very soft and subtle, and I just love the smell of rose, personally. This actually smells very similar to, I don't know if you've tried it before, but the MAC Fix Plus in the rose scent. It smells just like that, honestly. Very soft and soothing. But one of my favorite lip balms, it gives a nice little gloss. I love carrying this in my purse. It doesn't feel heavy or thick. This is a little bit more thin, so this is my personal favorite to keep in my bag and wear during the day that I can layer on top of products or products will layer nicely on top of it. So the next product is a little bit different than a typical lip balm, but I definitely wanted to put this in because it's something that I always keep in my vanity and always reach for when I'm doing my makeup. This is a Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. I have it in the raspberry. They come in all different like colors and scents and stuff like that. It's not like a typical like high shine sticky gloss. It feels very comfortable on your lips Just feels like a nice thick kind of oil. This is my personal favorite to keep in my vanity I always use this before I do my makeup One thing I love about this is by the time I'm done my makeup and ready to put my lipstick on I find it's really absorbed into my lips. My lips feel very supple and hydrated it gives a beautiful shine to your lips It's not a lasting shine, but you get a really nice hydrated fresh lip look. So the next product is something that I lost actually for a couple months and I finally found deep under my bed. This is the Dior Lip Glow and I have it in pink 001. It's like the original first shade. It's like a tinted lip balm. It kind of adjusts to the pH of your lip. On me it goes quite pink. I mean I didn't put much on today. I don't know how it's showing in the camera. I've tried like drugstore dupes and like other dupes to this but it's just not the same. This, I mean, the packaging, of course, is very luxe, but it feels very luxe on the lips. It feels, like, thick, but not heavy. It almost has a little bit of, like, density to it on the lips. It's very nice. It's not just gonna melt and mush away when you put it on your lips. And I really feel conditioned on my lips. It's not just a lip product. It's very conditioning and moisturizing to the lips. It just feels really nice to just whip this out and just apply it on your lips. My last one is my favorite lip balm. So many people have talked about this all over like Instagram and YouTube and I don't want to just be another person talking about it, but here I am. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I have it in the original scent. They have so many different scents now. This product is on my lips every single night. It's so good. This is the most exclusive conditioning lip product. You feel it in the morning when you wake up on your lips still. It's just gonna lock in all the moisture on my lips. And there's a scent for everybody. There's like a soft vanilla. There's like grapefruit there is this one the grapefruit one i think so there's a strawberry i don't even okay let me look what scent this one is okay the original one is a berry scent they have gummy bear which is supposedly like kind of sweet um smelling they have vanilla like that is so pretty i love the packaging they have apple lime grapefruit sweet candy lemon sorbet and mint cocoa Choco. Cocoa. Chocolate. Very good lip balm. If I have not sold you on this already, go get it. Alright, so those were a roundup of all my top five 
favorite lip balms. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe so you can stay tuned for more of my videos. I do more top five videos, but I also do makeup tutorials, product reviews, and definitely check out my last video where I shared my acne journey. It'll be linked down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!